Amen. All right, we are going to observe the Lord's Supper. In the book of 1 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul says, But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. He says, For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep, that is, many have died. For if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. So I want to take a, a moment for us to pray and, and reflect on our walk with the Lord. And if there's anything that we need to confess and make right before God, that we would do that now. And if you know that you have something against or there's some issue with a fellow brother or sister in Christ, we would strongly encourage you, as I believe Paul is and would, that uh, you make that right as soon as possible. So let's spend a, a few moments in prayer. In 1 Corinthians 11, starting in verse 23, Paul says, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And then in verse 25, he said, In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, Paul says, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Are we watching and waiting for the return of Christ? Are we looking forward to it? Amen. 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 All right, well, let's close with a hymn. Go ahead and turn to hymn number 376. Hymn number 376, I have decided to follow Jesus. All rise.